Hey guys, welcome to Specflow tutorial Behavior Driven Development Session 11. In today's session, you can learn how to generate XML report in Specflow using any unit console. As well, you can learn the report generation for specific feature or scenario of Specflow project using any unit console. So as of now, you already seen if you are referring my video sequentially, right? How to create the specflow project, how to create the features file, how to define undefined step in the step definition class, how to implement background, how to create scenario outline along with example, what are Q, what are specflow hooks, what are specflow tag, what is tagged hook, so so far. But for any project or framework, report generation is really required. Because at any point of time, right, if you want to understand how many test cases passed, failed, not completed, right, the overall statistics, then you need to generate some sort of report. It does not matter whether you are working for automation project or manual project. So that any point of time, you can get the data for the overall statistics or execution. And definitely that data you can share with the respective stakeholder on daily basis, weekly basis or monthly basis. Similarly, so that is the reason report generation is really important. So in today's session I will discuss about the XML report generation with the help of any unit console but in the upcoming session right we will try to create more videos for different report including extended report as well which will give you all the holistics right to the respective stakeholder and from the report itself they can understand the project behavior or project other any risk is associated in case you are not able to complete it, the execution of time or any other high red flag they need to highlight all this stuff they can get it from the project itself from the report itself so during test execution either manual or automation it is always required to understand the output of the execution the execution output should display in specific format which immediately depicts the overall result of the execution. Hence, our framework also should have the same capability to create output or generate test execution report. It is essential to know how better user can generate report using specflow. As specflow is a BDD framework, it does not have a fancy reporting mechanism in build. The type of report generated also largely depend upon the type of test runner that is being used. Both free and paid variants of runners are available with each of having their own pros and cons. But here we will be discussing about the any unit console only. So before starting with generating a test report, let's ensure that all the prerequisites are available or installed. In order to start generating report, user need to install any unit console to execute the spec flow test. So before that, right, in case you go to the uh, the Specflow project, whatever you already created, you could see two features file, Google Home feature and Google uh, Facebook feature. For those, right, there are a couple of scenarios there, here. And we already implemented all the undefined steps. And also we have implemented the step using Selenium WebDriver. So it will open the browser, it will navigate to the URL, it will enter the relevant thing, right, it will click on the login button and also it will validate with the help of the assertion, right? Uh, anyone the assertion, we have it's also tried to verify the expected and the actual outcome after that you will execute the scenario. So, in case you click on the test and then test explorer and then if you just run all, so it will run all the scenario, right? Whatever available for the particular project in all the features file. Here, two features file available and total around seven features is there. So it will try to execute one by one. In case the step is also associated with the help of Selenium WebDriver, so it will try to execute also, right, by opening the browser. And after that, at the end of the day, I mean, after the end of the execution, so it will generate the details in the test explorer. But from the test explorer, right, you are not getting the detail-oriented report, which you can showcase with the, or shared with the customer or the respective stakeholder. So you could see, right here, you could see this is the project, this is the explorer, this is the project, this is the features file, this is the scenario, right? Uh, and this is the kind of uh, scenario uh, from the scenario outline. 
so you need to click everywhere after that you need to click get the details like that way right so you are not getting a consolidated view in a single uh, report right how many things is there executed all this stuff so that is the reason report is required so definitely you can do all the different way right with the help of the any unit with the help of the excellent report you can generate better report and you can share with the customer right or your respective stakeholder so now uh, we will try to implement here uh, the any unit console and we will generate the XML report so for that one you need to go to that site here this is the site right and you can just download the latest MSI okay so this is the latest version con for the any unit console 3.16.1 if you click here so automatically it will be downloaded in the download folder right so once it is downloaded it will be available in the download folder so you can click here double click and you can click on the next right here it's already installed for my system that is the reason it is coming as change repair or remove right so i can repair it in case i want to repair right so automatically it will be downloaded and you can click on finish so now it is downloaded a unit console is downloaded in my system right so next thing is that i need to go to that for uh, uh, folder where it is downloaded so i can go to that C drive and it is downloaded in the program file dot 86 that is the folder here if you type with any unit right there will be a folder called unit dot org and then unit console so that is the location it is downloaded next is that you need to compile your project right how can you compile it so uh, build so you need to build it here because it is a uh, uh, visual studio 2022 so right click here you can click on build in case it is everything is built you could see the all up to date right there is nothing there you can rebuild it if in case you want to do it so that you can it will be rebuild it and in case of any error it will be triggered so that is the second thing right then you need to get the path of the project so how can you do that so right click here and go to the property there is an option called copy full path you can copy it and you can press windows r and then you can paste it so that automatically it is navigating to the project path right dot cs project so you can just remove that one so that it, it will go to the project location right that is the project location okay now you can go through the unit console here and after the path is there right or simply you can open you can copy the path and you can open simply command from or directly you can open it from here so that automatically you can navigate to that path here you can go press cd and then the path of the a unit console where it is downloaded so you can go to the a unit console path here otherwise you can open cmd directly here and you can go to the path right so once it is done next thing is that you need to <coughs> after the command from is open and you already rebuild your project there is no error you already navigate to the project path so you need to type that command unit hyphen free and unit 3 hyphen console dot exe result equal to where you want to generate the report right then colon format equal to unit 2 and the specific project dll path so what is my dll path so i need to go to that project and then i need to go to that bin so this is the project right so if you remove it here this is the explorer okay if you go back so in the repos folder it will be always stored source repos this is the project explorer this is the project and this is the bin folder this is the debug folder this is the net 6.0 and there there is a dll file right with the same project name you could see here with the same project name that is the dll file so that path you need to give it here right so if i open uh, the notepad so here i already given right any unit 3 hyphen console dot exe then result where my dll file is present sorry this is the path where i need to generate the report so in the desktop i want i already have a report folder and here i want to generate the report so here it will be generate the report in the xml format so i have given the name called test one dot xml so that is the path here so you need to change only this way so it will be fixed here then here you need to give the path where you want to generate the report i want to generate the report in the report folder so report name is test1 or test.xml then format any unit will be common 
and then here you need to give the path of the DLL folder, right? So you could see, right? The repo, then the uh, explorer, then the project, bin, de uh, debug, net 6.0, and then this is the DLL folder path. So that way you need to give it, and you can copy after <coughs> you <coughs> generated this thing, right? You can copy it, and you can just go to the command from and you can paste it here and you can run it so now it is not required to open your visual studio automatically you can run it from the console so in case you visual studio having some trouble you are not able to open it or it uninstall still you can run your project right from the uh, any unit console so automatically you can it will run right based on the run it will pass or fail the test case it will run all the scenario from all the features and it will generate the XML report in the report folder, whatever your path you have mentioned in the right here. I have mentioned desktop report folder. So it will try to execute all the scenario one by one from all the features. <coughs> so same way, whatever way we have tried to run it from the Visual Studio 2022, right from the test test explorer section. Similarly, it will try to generate it. You could see here now it got run. So what is the total count run? Seven scenario got run right pass 7 fail 0 start time end time total duration is 42 second and result are saved here in the report folder and test.xml file is the path so now if you go to the report folder you could able to see the test.xml file got generated now if you will double click here right you could able to see the report right so here total 7 scenario run right no error no failure no run no uh, right in con ignored no skip no invalid and this is the date run this is the time run right this is the machine details right environment here okay and then you can get the desired result here right this is the name of the package right this is the name description here executed result success so you could able to see the result how many scenario got run similarly for the other package how many scenario got run in a single report so that is the XML report you can generate it apart from that in case you are running the thing with the help of the uh, unit console you could see here the living doc plugin the output generator also get report generated right here also JSON report so you could see the path here you can just copy the path right or in the same right BDD same folder here net 6.0 folder right there is a report generated called test execution dot json if you go here there will be report generated called test execution dot json yes that is the json report generated and you can open it open with right notepad or other way choose another way up. right i can open with say firefox this is the json report you could see that is the thing which got generated right not now so you could see this is the execution time generation time right this is the scenario right and this is the details got passed right this is the id this is the password for the parameter this is the scenario title this is the features title so for all the features it will be displaying like that here so it will be starting from zero and it will go till uh, the n minus one right so total six means total seven it has scenario got executed for all the details will be getting here this is the right uh, json report you can also gen get it which will be generated by the system itself okay so that is the way right in case you are not opening the visual studio as well you are already having some trouble you can generate the report right with the help of the any unit console now next question is that suppose say in my project spec flow project there can be might be multiple picture multiple scenario so not every time i want to execute everything so I want to ex execute some specific feature, some specific scenario. So definitely you already learned the concept of tag. So you can just give the tagging of for specific to scenario, specific to features, right? So that's suppose say out of 100 scenario or five scenario will be smooth, five, 10 scenario will be your regression, a 20 scenario will be functional, right? Your 30 scenario can be UAT like that or some specific to application. So that way you can give the tag. So now once you define the tag, then now instead of running all your scenario, all your features, so you can try to run them based on the tag. So very often, users are required to execute a few uh, uh, sort of test set or scenario set from the entire test suit or test mark with some special categories. 
All this is possible via spec flow tag, which can be applied both at features level as well as scenario level. Thus, in order to execute just a subset of tests, user can use spec flow tag to mark or label such scenario. And while running through any unit console runner, the categories can be mentioned as part of the command. So first thing we need to keep the tag, then we need to compile it, right? Then the GLL file will be also regenerated. So we need to take the GLL path. Now we navigate to the any unit console. Then you can open the command form, 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 right? And now we can just give the below thing. So there will be some sort of modification will be required here. You need to give category. So cat equal to the category or the tag name. You need to give it. Otherwise, remaining theme will be still same. Okay. So just here, any unit console three results. In case you want to generate the different name, so I can give the test unit dot to XML, right? Category. So where you, yeah, that is the added thing only. Otherwise, remaining thing is common. So here you need to give the category. So say suppose say for here in that particular Google feature, I already have regression or the UAT. In case I want to run based on the category, based on the tag, right? So that automatically specific feature and specific scenario will be executed, right? So here first we will try to run uh, based on the regression tag. So that is the thing I already updated and this path is still common. So no need to change it. Now the file name will be test two, right? And just copy it. And then you can go here, the same command form and just paste it and press enter. So now it will try to execute all your scenario based on the tag. So you could see now three test cases got executed and this, this is where the report got generated. Also, this is also updated. So this will be updated every time the living dot plugin which is the json report okay and now if you go to the report folder you could able to see the test 2 dot generated now if you open it here you could see here total 3 run 0 failure right now it will only specific to the google home page not the facebook that particular feature file not got executed now again if you want to execute <coughs> the Facebook uh, uh, related part. So here you could see already tag is there, MOOC tag. So now if you want to run to the help of the MOOC tag, so automatically only the Facebook feature will be available executed because other uh, because in the Google feature that particular MOOC tag is not available. So all here this four scenario will be trying to execute it, and definitely for this thing step already defined, so it will be also able to show the navigation, get the navigation right how it is executing. So for that one right cat will be MOOCs MOOC here and I can give the name as test 3 dot XML otherwise remaining theme will be still common I can copy it and I can just go to the console uh, right and here just enter the thing and just press enter so now it will try to execute the scenario or the features where it is stacked with MOOC right so it will be executing the uh, Facebook features file and where four scenario with the help of the scenario outline example will try to execute it because the scenario level stack MOOC was present so it will not impact the google features file because there no MOOC tag was available in case the tag was available it will try to also run it so it is specific to tag right instead of running all your test cases whatever is filtering based on the tag it will try to execute it based on the tag so that is the option also available with the help of the unit console so instead of run, not running your project you can filter out your scenario or the features file you want to execute it based on the tag so now you could see the test 3 dot XML file got generated you can go to the report section right you can open it so you could see here total 4 executed and where for executed facebook login home page so google dot features file dot not executed and here you could able to see it. right so that is the way right with the help of any unit right we can um, generate the xml report for all together for the project so where all your features file all your scenario will be executed and in, in case you don't want to execute the project right you want to just filter your uh, uh, execution criteria from the features or the from the scenario based on the tag you can also do it you need just need to update the command whatever you want to enter in the console that way you can right filter it out and you can generate the custom xml report with the help of the any unit console so that's all from today's session thank you